transitional justice, it only means in a, a way, a process, or some kind of way, people, um, a country, they come out from one system to another system where good for people. Who say you get a situation who say, fat being a country, serious fat where you don't abuse, you don't make abuse of human rights on be big time. Fearful, fearful abuses around B. And then people then see reason say, when they come together and make them change for positive peace, make peace go reign. And all the mechanisms, all the efforts they can make for make peace reign, for make people live in very decent environments, nine in total, in some total we call transitional justice. And that can include a judicial system where most often it not can be the national judiciary. You guess what a strategy we get for do with true where people will come out and confess and talk about what actually happened, what in fact bring what we call war, so that people then go bring out recommendations we go make. That kind of will be, it's not going to be again. For Salon, for instance, we will get what we call Truth and Reconciliation Commission. That may, that may not be one of the justice, uh, uh, transitional justice mechanism. We will also get a um, special court for Sierra Leone, will not be another transitional justice mechanism. For Trident one, them particularly, will not be the Kakatua them. Before the war will be between 1991 and the 23rd of March 1991, and the 18th of January, Year 2002, where the then president, Ahmad Dijankaba, blessed memory, declares a war done done. And they actually seek for address key among all impunity. Number one, key, key, key one are impunity, both case. I go drum, both. Then also, they seek for address the issues that will be lead to war, like Warsaw. How for make sure say then fix them up properly as a way of preventing war. Basically, that is what transition justice seeks to address.